European Union officials have blamed Brexit for ruining their Christmas plans, in one final dig at the UK. Ambassadors from the 27 European Union members were being briefed on the contents of the Brexit trade deal on Christmas Day, with one official sniping, thanks, Brexit. The diplomats were being updated on the historic deal by Michel Barnier, who led Brussels' negotiating team in the talks with the UK. Sebastian Fischer, a spokesman for the German presidency of the Council of the EU, joked he was looking forward to the diplomats' meeting because nothing is more fun than to celebrate Christmas among socially distanced colleagues. He added, thank you Brexit. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has hailed the deal struck with the EU as a new beginning for Britain that resolves the European question that has bedeviled British politics for generations. But fishing leaders claimed Mr Johnson had sacrificed the industry to secure a trade agreement, while Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer branded the accord thin, although his party will back it in next week's Commons vote because the alternative would be a devastating no-deal scenario. Late haggling over the deal meant it was not concluded until Christmas Eve, days before current trading arrangements expire at the end of December. The timing of the deal has forced politicians and officials in the UK and Brussels to tear up Christmas plans. The 27 European Union members still have to back the deal, which was thrashed out by officials from the European Commission with the UK. MPs and peers will be called back to Westminster on December 30 to vote on the deal, but MEPs are not expected to approve it until the new year, meaning it will have to apply provisionally until they give it the green light. French Europe Minister Clement Bone said it was a good agreement and stressed the EU had not accepted a deal at all costs. He told broadcaster Europe One we needed an agreement less than the British as for them, it was a vital need. Mr Bone said British food and industrial products entering the European single market after January 1 will not pay customs duties but will have to meet all our standards. There is no country in the world that will be subject to as many export rules to us as the UK, he said. Mr Johnson used his Christmas message to sell the deal to a public weary of Brexit after years of sometimes acrimonious wrangling since the 2016 referendum. Brandishing a sheaf of papers he said, I have a small present for anyone who may be looking for something to read in that sleepy post-Christmas lunch moment, and here it is, tidings, glad tidings of great joy, because this is a deal. A deal to give certainty to business, travelers and all investors in our country from January 1st. A deal with our friends and partners in the EU. Mr Johnson said the document will be the basis of a happy and successful and stable partnership with our friends in the EU for years to come.